If you own this particular sound card, you must be familiar with this. That's the sound of popping speakers when the PC is powering up. Not only are these sounds annoying, they also have potential to damage the speakers. You could avoid all this popping by turning off the speakers as the PC boots. But in many cases, this may not be convenient since the speakers may be far away from your sitting position. My particular sound card is a Scarlett 2i4, made sometime in 2015. To solve this problem, I thought of designing a time delay circuit that will keep the outputs muted while the PC boots. One of the most popular ICs for creating time delays is the 555. And I mean, if I could buy it in Uganda for that cheap, I'm sure it's available anywhere else. If we look around its data sheet, we see that one of its applications is time delay generation. It can also be powered by 5 volts, which is perfect since the sound card is powered by USB. Under the typical application, the circuit I was interested in was the mono stable, also called the one shot. I built it on a breadboard to observe its behavior. The multimeter is measuring the voltage across the timing capacitor. The monostable will not change state until pin 2 is connected to ground, and then the timing capacitor will begin to do its work. If we freeze the frames, we see that the transition from low to high happens at around 3.28 volts. 3.28 is two thirds of our 5 volt supply, and that's why we should expect a transition anyways. As is, this circuit will not serve our purpose since it needs an external trigger to start the time delay. But if we modify it like this, the time delay starts at power on, which is what we want. Once I have a somewhat working idea, I open up the sound card to see how I fit in the new components. And by the way, always have a container to keep your parts. Otherwise, you may have less parts than you had at the beginning. Also, try to recycle parts from old circuits you may be having lying around. To power my circuit, I tap power from this 220 microfarad capacitor. The output of the delay circuit goes to a switching transistor that powers two relays. These relays are responsible for meeting the left and right channels. It's here that I started testing the entire system together. Apart from the noise of the passing traffic, you can see that the power transients in the sound card no longer make the speaker pop. And here we have visual feedback of when the mid circuit is active and when it's not. Since there wasn't much space to fit a new board, I built a new circuit around the relays. I glued the mute LED to show through the same place as the 48 volts LED since it's only lighting on startup. I put the sound card back together for a final demonstration of how it all works. This simple system cuts out all the pops and performs better than I anticipated. I wonder why it wasn't implemented in the first place. If you enjoyed this video, consider signing up on my Patreon to make more videos like this possible.